Well, we're here at the kickoff of President Miguel's inauguration week festivities. It's a Cuban-themed dinner. We're serving Cuban sandwiches, uh, Elena Ruz sandwiches, and plantain chips. Overall, I'm having a great time, and I think like events like this should happen more often in the school. I had someone come up to me and say this is the best event we've ever had at SFC at our time here. So today is International Flag Day and we're really trying to focus on Terrier Pride worldwide. In St. Francis hay muchas culturas, hay mucha diversidad y yo vengo de Colombia. You get to meet new people here. It's really exciting. St. Francis is a small college of big dreams and we have students that come from all around the world and we make one big happy family. This is our Mentorship Leader Day, um, part of our President's Inauguration Week, where we um, invite middle schoolers and high schoolers from the area to come in to St. Francis, learn about more of what we have to offer. It was pretty cool when he started to introduce himself. He usually starts off with like a poem or rap, and that, I think, is like pretty unique. I think St. Francis does a great job of reaching out not just to students in their school, but also um, to people out in the area, especially kids. and. This was something I would definitely have benefited from when I was little. It's incredible the work that the president is doing with all the kids. I went to Lyrics from Lockdown and it was an amazing uh, spoken word hip hop production. The goal of my performance is to raise awareness and mobilize action around mass incarceration in the prison industrial complex to end, to abolish this system which incarcerates and steals freedom for more people than any other country in human history. Cause someone was told to sacrifice his own son and told the owner just before he was done. There was a man, Nanan, who was wrongfully incarcerated, literally in the same county, Harris County, that I live in. We, as people, have a say in how his story will end. We are at St. Charles Roman Catholic Church in celebration and in honor of the inauguration for President Miguel. St. Francis College is real different from other schools. You can walk into a classroom, you can see a cross. It just shows how much St. Francis College really wants to embody Franciscan values. We can all benefit from the teachings of St. Francis. So today was the official inauguration of Miguel, our 19th president. And just to see the entire room filled with people that not only are supporting him, but supporting our school and our students, it just meant so much. There were so many cultures in the room, people from so many different organizations, and I think that kind of shows exactly what our school is like and exactly what Miguel stands for. As a fellow Latin American member of the community, it's exciting to see Miguel as the president of St. Francis, and I'm very hopeful for the future and everything he has planned. Bienvenidos a St. Francis. I actually have a really great story about Miguel. One day, I was just having an off day, some stuff going on at home. It was time to register for class, and he caught me pretty much three seconds before I was about to have a mental breakdown and start crying. Um, and he's like, what's the matter? Are you okay? And I'm like, no. Um, and he kind of just shed some enlightenment, I would say. And he just said to me, you know, you're going to make this world great. And you have this great bright light that shines, and everybody notices it when you're around and you're allowed to let that light dim for a minute or two or a day or two if that's what you need to deal with what's going on in your life. And he told me, you just have to let that light shine. And that's something that still sticks with me today. You know, I think one of the important things is to take risks um, and to admit that you're putting yourself in, the, in a place where you might fail, uh, but you have to embrace that. And uh, one of the things that has allowed me to do that is family. I've had unconditional support from my brother. Uh, my wife believes in me more than I believe in myself. My kids provide an inspiration because they think I can do anything. And so that gives me an energy necessary to, to be able to do this, to step out on a limb. Um, you know, MLK says something like, faith is uh, getting ready to walk up a staircase when there's only one step. And that's, I think, what we're called to do. Mm -hmm.